We are remembering George Winterling, Channel 4's legendary weatherman and our first chief meteorologist. One thing I do think we should mention, the very studio where we are right now bringing you the news is named after George Winterling. That's right. His legacy is just in amazing. Is. Yeah. And the road leading up to it is also named after him as well, if you didn't know that. George passed away last month at the age of 91. He was laid to rest yesterday, surrounded by friends and family. His career spanned over 50 years, and it has left a lasting impact on Northeast Florida. Family and friends showed up to say goodbye to George Winterling in his flag-draped casket, honoring his time in the Air Force. There's so many stories shared by the Channel 4 family of George. For me, it was he would always call me Great Scott. And for a long time, anchor Rob Sweeting, it was about a personal story he struggled with, a heart attack. George went to the hospital, Baptist Hospital, to, for some type of procedure, but he had a heart attack while he was there. Well, they took George to a certain room at Baptist Hospital to recover, and a certain nurse took care of him while he was there. Well, years later, I had a heart attack. I went to recover in the very same room that George recovered in, and the nurse who took care of me was the very same nurse who took care of George. We also caught up with Mary Bear. Mary told us about when she had just moved to Jacksonville and came across what we tend to call a George coincidence. And I knocked on the door and this lovely young lady opened the door and she said, oh, excuse me, but don't you work with my dad? And sure enough, it was George's daughter, Wendy Gale, her home with her husband, and we ended up buying that very house. And that house had such peace and joy in it. For Tom Wills and Deborah Giannolis, who spent so many years on the anchor desk with George, there are just so many memories of what George meant to Jacksonville. We're reminded at this celebration of George Winterling's life, how simple his life was. Faith was first, his family was second, and in his professional life, it was the viewers of Channel 4. You all were his priority. He loved you. There's no mystery why you loved him, because he took such good care of everybody who was watching Channel 4. Yeah, for somebody who was such a star, he's a really humble man. He truly loved his neighbor as himself, and he viewed every single person in our audience as a neighbor. And I think Jacksonville, the whole Jacksonville area felt that. And for the man who succeeded George as chief meteorologist, Sean Gone, <laughs> there's this. If there's something that I took away from today, it's the fact that I felt like, in my mind, George left something on the table. It is something that I don't think people will fully grasp, but of his efforts that he did, he poured every moment into Jacksonville, and he made our city better for it. It was great watching him on TV when he was in the choir, when it was at First Baptist. It was great watching him just being on the air here locally doing what he does or did, and he did it great, which is be our meteorologist, our chief.